around 2020, I had several papers that all kind of slapped me in the face at the same time with the same insight, which is that all that really matters is the data. And I had come into all three of these papers very much focused on inductive biases. How do we put better inductive biases into models, either through changing the objective or through changing the architecture, which is where most of the field was and still where you see a lot of the papers at the big conferences are about architectures and various tweaks to architectures. But I had these multiple papers, all of which made this clear takeaway that the data is the only thing that matters. I'll give you one example. There's a paper we had called Convit, uh, where the idea was to take a vision transformer and initialize it as if it was a convolutional neural network. That way you could actually start with this inductive bias of, of convolution, but the model could choose to unlearn it if it wanted to. So it, the idea was it was a soft inductive bias, not a hard inductive bias. Common nets have a hard inductive bias. You can't not be convolutional in a com net. But in this case, you initialize the transformer that way. And then if it wants, the model could learn not to be that. And the idea here was that this would be really helpful for models to give them this inductive bias, but then they could learn not to use it if they didn't want to.